Hello and welcome back. You are gaming with me, Brothgar, and I got a pretty interesting idea for a weapon build. So let's head over to weapon crafting here right off the bat, and we're going to try this one out. It's called Pyro Broth. Now, what Pyro Broth is, is essentially this. It is Pyro. <laughs> That makes sense, right? And then as far as the rounds go, we're actually going to use Agile so we get a little bit more damage. But the real key here is its proximity. So I've unlocked that, which means if it gets close enough to a target, it'll automatically detonate. But there's another trick to this. It is also sticky. I think I've seen one person playing with this before. And then on top of that, I'm actually going to use Flak. So when it blows up, it'll cover a large area of damage. So... Essentially, this is it. I'm going to go test this out real quick here and show you what it does. Now, first and foremost, since it is sticky, it, it will set a mine like this. And if you move close enough to this or hit it with one of your own bullets, you'll actually set it off. So it basically just becomes a motion mine. Now, if I were to set this on, let's say, yeah, you see how he didn't get very close there. So he was able to outrun it. But if you are close enough or maybe it activates close enough to you, it sets up this large area of fire and now these people have taken 50% damage and are continuing to burn down. So the idea behind this is actually, which took them out in one shot, is to actually take a barrel and then put something like a hexa barrel on it. Now, why do I want to do that? Well, the idea here is that I can actually set up a very large area of mines. So if somebody was to stumble into it, they would suddenly take all this damage and then burn to death essentially is the idea behind pyrobroth so we're gonna see how this weapon works out in the game in some real matches all right now another weapon i wanted to try out is new broth 3.5 which is essentially the same setup as new broth initially except for this one isn't going to be using a spooling trigger i feel like the spooling trigger has gotten me into trouble lots of times so i'm going to be trying it out without the actual spooling going on so gatling barrel laser guidance system and then high capacity and instead of spooling we're running full auto trigger so i'm going to be losing a little bit of dps there but i do gain the ability to like move dash and then instantly shoot from there so i'm actually putting damage on the target sooner so all in all it may actually work out a lot better bouncy rounds as well so we're going to save that out as new broth 3.5 all right, and to finish things up here, I'm actually going to be trying out the shield, but I'm only going to be trying it out on one setup here. So I have the shield, Pyro Broth, and New Broth 3.0. So that's the Tesla Pulsar with the spooling, with the mind setting Pyro Broth. And then for my loadout too, I'm actually keeping the turret buddy, mostly because I got Medi Broth. So I kind of got a couple different roles I can play. I can play the real defensive guy that's going to be moving around, trying to basically defend an area real aggressively with my turret buddy trying to stay alive for a long time and then I have the more aggressive where I can kind of set up get my new broth spinning up take down some targets real quick and then plan out some sort of like escape hopefully this might be like a capture the flag build here with pyro broth and using the shield for the advantage we're gonna see how this all works out there's a lot of different stuff going on here but let's head into some matches and see how it all works now one problem I've been having here recently is that I keep getting matched up with people that are just very very higher tier than I am I mean I'll be honest <laughs> I am not like a tier 10 weapon guy but for some odd reason the game thinks I must be completely awesome or something like that because I keep getting placed against people of that caliber it could be the guy that complains but it's definitely a problem that is happening here a lot in loadout where just really new people are up against some very experienced players and it really just kind of stinks because they get their butt kicked like me anyhow so let's set up these things here see how pyrobroth deals with the person who is chasing me down try to light him up and then take him out with new broth come on ah There's that thing again. I was talking about this a little bit earlier in another video where I got my butt kicked so hard that I never posted it. Of <laughs> Kind of the problem I'm having here with Pyroth is that it just isn't really doing enough damage and people tend to be able to kind of avoid it. So I'm not thinking this weapon build is really working all that well. It worked well in beta, but I don't know. Maybe they nerfed it. Maybe they nerfed the timing of it. Something's gone on to where it just isn't as effective as it used to be. However, Pulsars, which I didn't run at all back in beta, are now rolling pretty good. New Broth 3.0 again doing its thing. But 
let's give this a shot real quick here. We're going to keep trying Pyroboth. I'm going to try to go to a confined space here inside this building. Should be a pretty decent place. Throwing them all over. Not really strategizing too much there. Oh. Um, let's see what happens. The shield, on the other hand, is actually doing a very good job. It's basically like extra health. I mean, if you're up against Tesla, it's not going to do too well for you, but... Otherwise, it's rolling pretty good. Alright, so we're now uh, nice up and high. We're going to lay down some mines down there. Come on, Pyrobroth. Don't let me down. Alright, so we've lit this guy on fire. We got him rolling a little bit. And he's going to burn out. Alright, well that actually worked pretty decent. Maybe I'm going to be changing my opinion about Pyrobroth here as the game progresses. This is a decent area down here because it is so confined. That it's going to be hard to avoid that flak damage. So I'm going to go ahead and place all 12 of my mines down here. And try to attract somebody into the center area. I know they're up here. So I'm going to try to do it. Come on. Come on. Where you at, guys? Where you at? We're up 900 to 400. Okay, so this guy, he caught a little bit of fire there. But not much. He's still alive. Got to avoid those grenades. All right. Pyrobroth, show me what we got. A couple of points up here. What I like to use Pyrobroth back in the day is to actually kind of shut down doorways. Give people less opportunities to kind of push forward. A bit of a psychological thing. It's not really, you know, doing much to distract this guy. He is on fire now a little bit. Um, I don't know. There we go. It's very weird. You kind of got to use it in such a different way. It's kind of interesting. Come on. We're just going to resort to the elbow now. Come on, buddy. There we go. Got him taken down. That was the messy way to do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking that this weapon here might actually be better if, if I was to use something that was... That guy's not going to come for it? Come on. Ah, see, he just shoots the mines. If I used a bigger uh, rocket in the first place. So I don't have to shoot it as many times. I can just kind of shoot it once and be like, okay, this is a very powerful position. If it hits, great. If it doesn't, I'll just move on. It feels like spreading the damage out here is not really helping me out. A little bit weird. A little weird. It's not working too well for my playstyle, at least on this map. Come on, buddies. Where are you at? Everybody's jumping. That's the one thing about this game is that everybody just kind of resorts to the old, oh, I'm just going to spam the space bar over and over again. And it really gets annoying. It's kind of like dolphin jumping back in uh, Call of Duty. Come on now. Alright, so I'm going to use Pyrobroth down here. Yeah, well, I was able to take that guy out with some help. I'm going to load up some doorways, get a little bit more strategic about this, see if I can't really test out this weapon to its fullest potential here. Okay, so we've really lit up these doors. I'm now in the middle here. A lot of people like to come in here. And somebody set off all those indicators. Come on. Come on. Nope. Ah, Google Cloud, gotcha. Nope. Doing a lot of decent <sighs> moments, but...
Nope. Nope. Sir Law got me. All right, let's change up gears real quick here, and I'm going to try out New Broth 3.5. I'm not too terribly crazy about Pyro Broth. I'm thinking that's going to be something for the archives. And uh, like I said, maybe tweak it with bigger rockets and just deal with it that way. It just didn't seem to be dealing as good as I thought, at least here in Death Snatch. I'm feeling like it might be more of a weapon that would be suited for, like, extraction. Because you can set it up as mines and then potentially set off a lot of plutonium if the enemy was to walk across it. Let's set up a turret here and just start defending. Alright. Now, I'm able to do a lot more diving and ducking and random shooting here to actually make more use of new bra 3.5 i'm liking the enhancement a little bit drop in dps but overall i mean being able to do this and then just jump right to your right to dropping rounds on the enemy has been a very helpful thing seems like a decent spot for that turret actually Darn it, took out my turret first and then got me. Nice move. Well, we're going to give it another shot here. This time I'm going to be placing the turret in another locale. A little bit away from everybody where we're fighting. Want to keep some range. There we go. Take out one guy. Oh, yep. Oh yeah, look at that healing turret doing its thing, keeping me alive. Very nice of it to do so. Hey, how about me? Healing my buddies all the way up there. Loving that healing turret, but it's just, uh... Hello. I ain't full health. Hmm, interesting. Seems to have forgotten about me. Oh, it's all right. But now it's dead. Come on. Give me some heals, guys. Give me some heals. There we go. Beautiful. Got it. 100 point swing right there. 200 actually. Need health the conventional way this time. Dropping some long rounds. See, I'm still able to do what I'm able to do with the swooling weapon. And I'm able to actually shoot for longer now. So I can withstand doing offensive damage for a longer amount of time with a new broth 3.5 because I don't shoot as many rounds as quickly. So that all works out pretty good there. I'm thinking a lot of the stuff, I like the shield. The shield is a great attachment. New bra 3.5, again, another good, you know, enhancement there. Pyroboth in general, I'm kind of shaky on it. And then all in all, just that turret heal of muddy doing its thing, helping us out keeping us alive so if you like this video make sure to hit that like button on the way out that helps me support my content here if you got a build you want me to try make sure to leave it in the comments below if i got the bluets to do it i will definitely give it a try at any rate thanks for watching guys peace brothgar out comes in yeah so i was able to unlock this personal i think it costs like four thousand bluets or so yes look at that it's gonna top off this guy switch over here top him off maybe i add a little bit to it and then we're gonna come in it's, it's probably gonna Probably doing a pretty good job there. Anyhow, that is the main concept of my...